Hi, I'm going to demonstrate scripting in Envelope. What you're looking at here is a uh, two-jointed uh, robot arm that we've showed in some other videos. The quick version is we have the gray circles are motors. Here's a motor anchored to the table at the bottom. That turns a one kilogram, two foot long link. On, that, on the end of that sits a second motor, motor two, that turns a second two foot long gray link. And people will often put uh, more rotation or a Z direction at, uh, no normal to the screen um, motions as well. All we've done is put a red magic marker in its fist here so that it can draw a square on the table. We'll run. I'll be back in a moment. All right, 45, 47 seconds. It always runs slower with screen capture on. So here is the robot drawing the square. Now these, a radial line, like the first vertical, is, is no big trick. That's, that's easy geometry. The rest of this, you, you have to have scripting. You have to have a control algorithm. Okay, so uh, how do we draw the square? The first answer is we have to feed particular control voltages to these two motors. Let's plot the motor voltages. So first we go from the mechanical domain into the electrical domain to, to uh, follow the trail of what's going on here. Here are the voltages for motor one. That's the motor at the bottom here. Starts out at about around one volt. And uh, the first part is relatively easy to understand. Motor one has one volt, and motor two has about minus two volts. Let's plot that one too. And that's a, uh, that, uh, you can you can work that through kind of by hand. That, that ends up with uh, drawing a radial line. We end, the, the rest of this is harder to understand, and, and, uh, and I'll show you the Python code that I used to calculate it in a moment. First, let's show, uh, on the other axis, let's show the two motor currents. So we can look at more electrical characteristics than just the one we're controlling, of course. So the, the uh, let's get rid of one of the motor voltages. The green is the motor voltage, voltage applied to the first motor, which is between about plus one and minus three. Then on the right-hand axis, and the yellow curve are the currents flowing through that motor. You can see we have a, a very low friction system uh, just just specified. So you can see big current spikes every time we change the speed of the motor um, and relatively low currents to maintain the motor turning against uh, against the small amount of friction that we're simulating right now. That's the electrical side of the system. Let's go uh, f another step away from mechanical and look at the software. So these control voltages come from a very simple script where uh, that was generated automatically. Here's how we go about creating the script. This is Python code that I popped up. I make an expression here that's just equal to the xy coordinates of a whole bunch of points around the square. I start by looking at the square and I can read off these points. If you look where my mouse is now, I've got an x and a y coordinate just to the right of the play button. If I put my cursor on the upper left hand corner of the square, then I get those I can see that I'm at about 0, 0 0.84 in my coordinate system. That gives me uh, the first point, the first xy point here. So this expression here is some function of a long list of xy points. I put about 10 points on each side of the square so that I can draw an approximation of straight lines. Then I have a couple of Python math scripts that turn this into a, a, ver a primitive internal script that we call Lucy. Uh, which at this point Lucy's only command is to generate a sequence of values at various times. But it's implemented as equations, it pastes into envelope as equations, and you can test anything. You, so you can make event-driven stuff and so forth with this. We're still expanding what we can do with it. But, but testing for the time and putting out a fixed voltage is, is just scratching the surface. Anyway, then I, I paste these two scripts. These scripts actually get written to a file and I paste them into as envelope equations. And that's what makes it all go. That's what generates those control voltages that you saw in the plot to, to now trace this backwards again. That's why we have stepwise plots. I check what time it is and I put out a voltage for motor one. Same thing for motor two. Then envelope makes the motor push on the, on the mechanical linkage and depending on how the mechanical linkage, how free the mechanical linkage is to move, we get smaller or larger currents from the power supply. So this could determine your battery life or the or the temperature of these motors. And, and it's certainly the case that your software, the behavior of your software will, will affect your battery life. All right, thanks for taking a look. Let's see this guy go again. 
This is roughly real time. So 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12. It's drawing this roughly in real time. So it's, it's pretty sprightly considering it's made out of two pound weights here. Okay, 